welcome back for another rousing, rousing edition of Dead in Bermuda. Uh, we're at like day 12. And I don't know, let's just try and finish it today. I don't know how long it'll take. But I got a lot of games coming up. And uh, we need to get through this or else I'm never going to play it again. I just, I know how it is. So let's just jump right in. Dead in Bermuda. Hey, survivors, everyone is still alive. I'm amazed and surprised and gleeful about it, you might say. Where is everyone? What's everyone doing? Uh, okay, Ilyana's sleeping. How much of our map do we have? Got this little cove area. We're just sort of working our way up. <laughs> I feel like we have, we have a lot of game left. It's okay. Yo! Imaginary monsters, how's it going? What's happening with you? <laughs> hey, Utter. <laughs> yes, very good. We got a new location. Let's check it out. Uh, abandoned camp, huh? Those birds are always so loud to me. Uh, what's going on in the camp? Uh, judging from the remnants of the campfire, someone was here, and not too long ago. Goodness. Let's search it. Julia. Maybe Jacob? I don't know, Julia's the, the, the stealthy one. Let's do Julia. I don't care if she dies, basically. Oh! Whoa! Two-headed rabbit! The hell? Typical Monday for imaginary monsters. Things are good. That's that's good though. You know, if you can say that a Monday is okay, you know. Oh, I'm dreaming of V Tide too. I'm excited to jump back in, you know? Gotta keep the Skaven down, right? Is it Skaven or Scraven? Skaven, right? No R. Alright, we're searching. You search the camp for something useful, hoping that the former dwellers are dead. Or not coming back. Find some water bottles in the corner behind a pile of dirty sheets. It may be theft, but we desperately need this water. Oh, 22 water supplies? Hell yeah. And a skull. Lovely. Let's go back to camp. Okay. Where's everyone? What are they doing? Uh, how many... We How many searches? We have two searches left of the plane. Um... Which is okay. It really... It depends on our food situation. Also, let's check the fire. And, okay, we definitely need to put some wood on the fire. Skaven. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good enough. I'm still learning... I'm still learning the whole Warhammer... Uh, spiel, you know? It's a very specious... Spe speciesist... Speciesist... It's a struggle. <laughs> Coping with your awful choices? Your, uh... Your vermintide choices? Or your weekend choices? Oh god, everyone's tired and hungry. Uh... Fatigue. Everyone's pretty tired. Uh, they have a good efficiency, though. I, I want to start getting through more of this map uh, as quickly as possible. Uh, hunger, fatigue, depression. Alright, Jacob. You gotta come and hang out the fire. Uh, you can talk to Ilyana. How's our water? Water's good. So we don't need to harvest fruit anymore. Fatigued, hunger. Maybe you'll take a nap? How's our crafting situation going? We need wood. We need wood and rope and rocks. Also, food. How's our food doing? We have some some smelly cheese. We have some fruits. Why are you stocking up on human skulls? <laughs> Just coping with mass rat murder. Hey, they attacked us. 
But we're just wandering through the countryside. We didn't ask for the violence, the speed, the momentum. Uh, I have no food. I have no food, so he is going to keep scavenging. Yeah, he's going to stay there. They're going to talk. He's going to nap. Uh, Alice. Oh, Alice. Alice, I think you're going to sleep with your husband. Ah, uh, man, no, but we need wood, though. We, we, we need it. Alright, we're just going to stick with this. Let's just go. Undeceiv- oh, oops. I'll check that. She has a level up, it would seem. Uh, what is she good at? She's an explorer. Maybe some more scavenging, since she's gonna be doing that anyway. Let's just do all scavenging. Let's just do that. That's fine. Alright, we're fine. Bandages. Some food. That's it. Not good, Yuri. Come on, man. Alright. Alright, that's good. That's helpful. They got along. Most people don't get along with Jacob. Bob had his nap. Get that wood. Alright. What did we find? Found a new area. Just speed up some of this stuff. Level up. They did well. Alright. Let's check out the new area. Big fig tree. Got a big fig. You want to find some good Warhammer fiction you can read. Well, actually, funny you should mention that. I feel like there was an article I saw. I feel like there was an article I saw recently about that. Was it on Kotaku? Maybe not. No, I can't find it. I thought there was a... Uh, an article like yesterday. Well, I don't know. I can't find it. But there was a... There was an article on one of the gaming websites that talked about, you know, good... Good fiction. After you've played the game. Alright, big fig tree. Uh, and specs. What do we got here? This fig tree is majestic. You see some juicy fruits hanging from the branches. But only a few are reachable because of the height of the tree. Uh, I don't really need fruit right now. Uh, Dan Abnett writes good gripping Warhammer 40k books. Yeah, it's, um... There's a lot of lore to it, obviously. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, Gumbel and I were talking about how interesting it was that um, they chose you know, to go from Left 4 Dead to Warhammer, like, it just seems like there's a lot of possibilities for what they could have done, and to pick Warhammer seems, I know Warhammer's big, but it's, it seems to be much bigger in the, um, the tabletop realm, you know, and the fiction realm, to be honest. Uh, I don't know if I care about the fruits. I kind of just want to, like, search and see, see what we can see. Jacob can do it. Ah, good. You know that tinder can be found in these trees. It might prove useful. Soy sprouts? Tinder? I don't know what that stuff is used for. Something good, I hope. I can also get fruit as well. Let's send Alejandro to harvest. Oh, he's not good at stealth, though. He is gonna get attacked. By a snake! But, I got four fruit. Alright. I could also chop the tree if I want to, I guess. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to bother with that right now. Let's just keep moving. Um, also, the sleeping area. I'm going gonna, gonna to fix this a little bit. It kills efficiency if you don't keep it up and running. Yeah, find those books. Alright, what, what else is Bob good at? Bob's gotta be good at something else, right? Aside from just fishing. Because we can't fish yet. We don't have a pole. And we destroyed that fishing hole that we found. Rash decisions. 
Uh, crafting, we don't have anything we can craft right now. We're waiting on materials. Harvesting. We could harvest, I guess. Oh, <laughs> Imaginary Monsters has been timed out. <laughs> timed out to Imaginary Monsters for five seconds. Um, yeah, I'm going to admit, I do not have my bots and all that set up very well um, in my chat. So eventually I'll work on that and people people can post links and stuff. I don't need to be blocking all links. I don't have enough, enough chatters in here to block links. Um, but yeah, I'll take a look. Uh, Alright, so Bob might... He's not great at scavenging, though. But she's gotta stop. She's tired. So, we might just use Bob for it anyway. Who else? Who else can do this? Oh, yeah, Bob is terrible. They get along okay, though. Do I need more wood? I do. I still need everything. I need it all. Teague. Alright, she's gotta go take a nap. Depression. Ilyana. Ilyana! Come with me, my darling. Research the books. Um. Room for Yuri to sleep? Yeah, you can sleep. All right, uh, and you gotta level up. Let's see. I have not been doing physical mental at all. I really probably should start doing that. Hmm. Scavenging. Exploration. Let's do some more stealth. About sickness and injury. Yeah, let's do some more constitution. Sounds great. Alright. Next section. Research the books. Oh shit, I left Jacob at the fire alone. What a waste. What a waste, Jacob. Got more wood. Great. Okay. What about you? New place. Awesome. It's always on my back. I assure you, it's not easy being married and all. Well, you know what I mean, right? <laughs> Yuri doesn't talk much. <laughs> yeah, you know, not the easy one either, this Julia, right? But, well, at least she leaves you be. Alice can't help but order me around. Sometimes that's the only thing she'll do with me the whole day. She wants me to take charge or something. Be a man, she says. But it's not my style. She should know that after all these years. We're so different. Sometimes it's scary, but well, I love her, of course. <laughs> Yuri. <laughs> if one loves, one loves the whole person as he or she is, and not as one might wish them to be. Yeah, damn right, buddy. Women, <laughs> Hey, Bob and Yuri, best of friends. Everyone's very hungry and depressed. And we have no food. We have no food. I think things are going to start going downhill very quickly soon. Uh, alright. You get a meal. And... You get a meal. I guess I can feed some... I can feed some fruits to people. I have enough water at the, at the moment, I believe. Alright, Alice, you can have one too even though I definitely want you to be the first to die. Is that rude? Might be rude. Bob, Jacob. All right, he ate it all. Is Jacob still crying? No. Le when I left Jacob last time, he was like constantly crying <laughs> and bruised. All right, day 13. 
new location. Lost backpack, huh? An abandoned backpack, right in the middle of the jungle. You assume its owner is dead. Search it. Scavenging. Hmm. Jacob. It's Jacob's job. Those two-headed rabbits, man. They're very perceptive. Dried meal. Binoculars. What do binoculars do? What's that? Soy sprouts. Increases hunger. Alright. Exploration. Alright, let's give people some things. Um, who... Who could use some exploration? Who do I usually send out there? I usually send Winters. Alejandro. Alice is good at it. I should boost someone else, though. Maybe Bob. I could boost Jacob a bunch. Let's boost Jacob. All right. Jacob, use those binoculars. Yep, great. Who's really hungry and not too sick? They can have the smelly cheese. Yuri. Yuri can handle it. Here. Yuri. Eat this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you have to eat the smelly cheese. Uh, who is not too depressed? But very tired. I don't know. I'm not ready to use that cursed fiance ring yet. I feel like that's a bad idea. Fatigue and depression down. Reduce some hunger. Here, you can have these. Not a lot. A little bit. Sickness. All right. Who needs who needs some medicinal plants? You. You definitely do. How about some more? Take some more. Anyone else? Anyone else really sick? Jacob, a little bit. All right, Jacob, you can take some medicine. All right, Julia, you also get some. Maybe a little bit more. You're constantly running around. Chocolates, who's really depressed? Who needs to eat chocolate? Jacob. You get some chocolate. Who else gets some chocolate? Yuri. Chocolate for you. Julia, maybe? Julia, you get some chocolate. I don't know why I found so many heart-shaped boxes of chocolate on this island. No. Alice, you get shit. Alice, you're the reason everyone's depressed, so you don't get any. Jacob, you get more. You've been having a hard time. You're wearing wooden antlers on your head. You're a mess. You also get some soy sprouts. Injury. Who else is injured? Yeah, painkillers for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone else? Jacob? Yeah, let's just let's just use all this stuff. Let's get people back in, you know, top shape. Alright, he's hungry, he's fatigued, but he's gonna go do something. We're gonna send him out out there. Gotta level up winters. Two to exploration. How about how about what else? Exploring, gathering, yeah, more constitution. Let's make you stronger. Harder, better, faster. Bob. Bob, what are you doing? All right, actually, Bob, you're not going out there. Here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Alice, you're going back out, because that's what you do. We're gonna send you out until you die. Bob's not really tired though, is he? No, he's fine. He's just not good at anything. He's not really depressed. I guess you're gonna just continue scavenging and being terrible at it. You're okay at harvesting. All right, we'll continue harvesting. That's what we'll do. You can harvest fruits. Fatigue. Fatigue. Alright. They can sleep together. 
He's gonna research. All right, let's do it. Continue working on that. Reading all alone. You guys are gonna, uh, yeah, all right, that's decent. Some fruits, agility. This guy's hopefully getting more wood. Yep, more wood, great. Keep finding those new areas. Uh, what'd we find? This gigantic seashell. What an enormous seashell! You wonder if it contains an enormous pearl inside. Then you wonder what you will do with an enormous pearl lost on this island. Uh, we gotta try and open it, right? Strength is a thing. Yuri could do it, but he's a little injured. Hmm. I don't want to mess it up. I want to find what's in it. Bob could do it. He has no injury. Let's send Bob. He's second best in strength. He's probably gonna get attacked by something terrible. Oh my god, what is that? Trash lobster? You pull- you put all your strength into opening the shell, but it's really wearing you out. Miracle potion. Ancient knowledge. Seems like it was worth it. Miracle potion, huh? Minus 10% to all states. So like hunger and all that sort of stuff. Alright, that's cool. And another ancient knowledge tablet. Which gives plus one to all skills. Who needs it? I don't know. Last time we gave it to Alejandro, because he's our main man. I'm liable to do that again. I don't know why. I just... Let's just do that. Ow. Ow to use. Should they continue exploring? They're gonna... They're gonna get really tired. That's okay. Uh, Bob has... Uh, level up. More crafting. He's eventually gonna be crafting with Yuri. So I want him to be decent at that. Depression, fatigue, fatigue. She's hungry. Man, they really do not get along very well together. How about scavenging? Can you scavenge? Uh, Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna swap someone out of here. Jacob. No one's really that depressed. Exploration. Winter's the lowest exploration. Hold on. Yeah, that's okay. That'll work. Uh, Alright, how are we doing on this next thing we need to craft? We have all the wood we need, as long as we don't use it. We need rope and stones. How's our fire looking? It's okay, we can survive. How's our water looking? We're good. <laughs> Open it, Fuzzy Blue says. Hey, Imaginary, thanks for stopping in. Thank you for the luck. Yeah, I might be down for some more uh, some more V-Tide later on as well. Enjoy your Monday, good sir. Thank you so much for stopping in. Always appreciate it. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna focus... No particular focus. I could potentially get both of these. Probably should focus on one. Let's focus on stone. Ah, I should have moved Yuri. That was dumb to keep him in there. I mean, not dumb. It, it's worthwhile, I suppose. One stone. Come on, that's it. Two of you. 
focusing on it and I get one, unacceptable. <laughs> What's that? I knew it. I knew that some of our food reserves disappeared. That fat blob ate them all. It's treasonous, eh? Calm down, Jacob. So, Bob, what do you have to say? Sorry, guys. I was too hungry. Felt like I was dying inside. I'm not like you. My body is used to a lot of food each day. Can't change overnight. I understand, Bob. But you do understand that if we all want to live together in peace, we must make sacrifices. Let's say you made your mistake. Don't make another one. Yeah, thanks. I'm very disappointed at you, Robert. Very disappointed. <laughs> so Bob ate a bunch of extra food, and everyone's mad at him. I wonder if that would have happened if I hadn't let him get so hungry. Like, I wonder if it's because he went over 50 hunger or not. All right, people need to eat. You eat some. Julie eats some. God, Alice. We need food. Food has gotta be, it's getting important. It's getting very important. I need it. The fire's going down. That's really not good. Wait, how much does it go to? Do we know how much it goes to? Every night, it's... it's Alright. By 20 to 30%, so I can definitely last one more night without using it. But I need more wood. So... We're still not able to do this cooking pot. Two more stone I need, and... Uh, uh, Yuri, how are you with... How are you with your scavenging? You're very good. You're very good. Bob, you're out. You're going there. Yuri's coming in to scavenge. Uh, but... Nope, too quick focus. Let's just hope we find what we need. Oh, I forgot. It's a new area, too. Abandoned raft? What? Abandoned. Dawned raft. <laughs> This raft is clearly handmade, so it would mean that someone was here, and not too long ago. Let's search it. Who wants to search it? Julia, search. Search, Julia. Ugh. There's a bone bat. A bone bat with antlers attacked you. You find nothing on or under the raft. Fantastic. A waste of time. Try to escape the island? Something tells me that's not going to work. Uh, we should probably try to explore this shore. Uh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, Ileana's going to take a little trip on the raft. Yeah, there we go. You jump onto the raft and try to sail near the shore. You quickly find a small creek that you feel oddly attracted to. You decide to stop there. You don't believe your eyes when you see the very beautiful blue woman seems to be having a picnic on the beach. Without a word, she shares a bit of, uh, a bit of her delicious-looking food. And after that, your mind becomes fuzzy, and you can't remember how, but you are back where you found the raft. Alright. Seems okay. It's not a bad thing to find. Uh, did I have anything else I should give people? What do I have here? Drugs. Decrease sickness when used properly. That's ominous. Oh, right, I have this plus one to all skills thing. Mushroom to get hot? No, not that. What is. Is. Is mushrooming like a type of. Is that actually like a term for starting a fire? Like a camping term? I feel like something was lost in translation here. Rotten food. I don't know. No idea. Fatigue. All right, winters. You gotta go back to sleep. Alejandra, you gotta you gotta stick with it, man. You gotta keep doing it. 
Exploration, hunger. Jacob, you can do our last salvage of the uh, of the plane. Oh, I guess I gotta do. Oh right, I, supposedly it would it would last, but I guess there's no reason. Let's just put one extra one in there. Let's make sure it lasts and we don't mess that up. Some food, some medicine. Not enough food though. We have finally salvaged everything that could be of any use from the plane. There's nothing left in there but sad memories. All right, that's it for the plane. A little more research. Man, Winters does not, her fatigue like does not reduce very, like nearly fast enough. Two wood, one stone. Oh my God. That's literally everything I needed. I, I don't think it finishes it, but it's definitely all the items that I needed. Wait, why aren't they getting along? Come on. Come on, guys. You were doing fine before. Uh, Alright, so... Let's check our... Alright, one more stone is all we need. Okay, so... Alejandro can take a nap. Uh, you are going to focus on finding stone. Man, fatigue is getting... Alright, you go back here. Jacob kind of... Alright, let's... Who... Who is the most tired? We got Alejandro, Jacob, and Alice. Alejandro. Alright, you're done with that. Jacob can sleep. Alice, come here. You can oh whoops, I swapped you. I accidentally swapped you. Can Julia continue? No. Julia's gonna hang out by the fire, I think. Depression, depression. How are you doing over here? You're fine. You're just gonna keep researching by yourself, I think. You're gonna scavenge. Is there something useful Bob could be doing? Help research, I guess? Nah, let's just let's just have him talk. Just Undistributed skill points. What's going on here? Mm, 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 mm. Harvesting, cooking, drying meals. It's already good strength. Uh, he's going to be crafting, so let's just add it all to crafting. He's going to be doing it. Almost done with that research. Whatever it is. Quite enough. Oh. Every physical skill progresses slower because he hates sports. Man, look at those sideburns, Bob. Buddy. I don't know, man. Those sideburns in that hat. Oh, you guys all got along in there, huh? Oh, shut it already. Leave me be. That's how you talk to me now, Robert? I'm very disappointed. It's been going on for hours. If only they would both die silently. You shouldn't say that, Julia. You shouldn't. For once, I agree with her. They're far too loud, far too frequently. Wait, what? Our Majesty the Queen of Ice agrees with me for once? Thank you, milady, for reaching out to a lowly peasants. I didn't talk to you. Leave me alone. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Go to hell. Two weeks. Two weeks we've been here. Everyone is on edge. I hope they don't have killing each other. It has been two weeks. We're doing okay. No one's died, but everyone's quite hungry. And as usual, we have no food. Winters, eat it. Next, let's move on. 
Everyone's starving. Most people are depressed. Most people are a little sick. Yeah, everyone's in bad, dire straits, so to speak. Uh, okay, I think those those nappers are gonna keep at it. Yuri, come on, buddy. Come back over and craft some neato things. Cooking pot. Cook it up. Bob, come on over. You guys are crafting together. Winters, maybe? Who's good at research? I don't know, I'm more... I'd rather just keep... Keep exploring. Man, you... You guys do not really get along, though, do you? Oh, well... You're both good at exploring, though. Maybe that's okay. Let's have you do that. You guys are gonna continue to fight, uh, to sleep. Mm, damn it. Maybe we can't start crafting. Because I need to... I need to keep that fire going. Alright, never mind. Get some more wood. Well, what the hell, Bob? What do we do with you? Fine. Go explore. Go on. They spent too long in that tent together, I think. Alright, we got wood. New location? Yep. Well, oh, we got here shipwreck. You see the mast of an old sunken ship emerging from the water. Another wreckage. There is something going on with this island. So many emotions. Are you, <laughs> are you laughing at my my dramatic reading? <laughs> Scavenge resources or dive and search? Bob doesn't seem like the sort of person who would usually do this. But he... Man. I think he's gotta do it. He's gotta take an injury and he's gotta dive down and search. Yeah, he's definitely gonna fail that. That bat thing. It's always hanging around the water. You dive inside the ship and search for something useful. It takes a long while and many dives while you get hurt by nasty hagfishes. More injury. Brutal. Rum. That's what we found. A bottle of rum. Well... Let's search the rest of it. Hey! You dive inside the ship and start scavenging ropes and wood. Takes a long while and many dives. More nasty hagfish. Oh, man. Wooden rope, though. That'll help me keep that, that fire going. Which means... Which means that Yuri can come back over here. And so can Bob. And we can actually do this crafting thing this time. And I can use up a bunch a bunch of wood. Um, so, okay. They're working on that. I can use some wood to add... Alright, fire's good. How's our water? Water's okay, which is good, because we have no fruit to make it better. These guys. Is he good at exploration? Yeah, he can explore. Uh, let's level up Julia. Hmm. Just up her stealth more, maybe? More exploration? Then a bunch of exploration. And some just scavenging. That's what we get. Alejandro. Uh, you... You're gonna use this tablet again. You get the tablet. 
Oh, whoops. Got, got to go over here. Tablet for you. Awesome. Yep. Alright, what's this rum do? M Musha ring dumba do dumba da. <laughs> So, I guess it gives a random minus or plus 10 a hunger, sickness, and depression. I don't think I'm ready to use that right now. Mm. I'm gonna save the rest of that stuff for the time being. Uh, Alright, fatigue, fatigue. Depression's high with you. Depression's high with you. You guys can talk. A little bit of depression and fatigue. Uh, uh, fatigue's high with you. Depression's starting to get high. Alright, we can take you off for a second. You can talk, chat, do all that. There we go. We're on our way. Who knows if we'll survive and not die of hunger before we get our cooking pot up and running. Chief, or chef. <laughs> All right, so she'll be the cook when we get the cooking pot. New location. Another night. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I can't help. You can't be everywhere. If you're hurt, go bleed somewhere else. You. Don't you start. Move your fat, lazy ass if you're hungry. Winter's breaking. Oh, and no, Alejandro. I don't have antidepressants for you for the tenth time. You, stop following me everywhere I go. I'm not your mom. And you, I'm not your daughter, so stop your unwanted advice. Thank you. And last but not least, Julia, once and for all, I don't care a bit about Alejandro. Fuck him if you like, I don't care. Okay, uh... Get some rest, Bethany, you deserve some. <laughs> My accents are all over the place. It's alright. Oh, God, that felt good. Contamination. What? Contamination! Oh no. <laughs> Everyone must, might die at once from lack of food. Alright. I have no food. Almost dead from starvation. Almost dead, almost dead. What does contamination mean? Uh, is it from sickness? Or I wonder if they just all added a little bit of sickness because because I don't know because of bad things happening. Oh, I see. If someone's already sick, they could potentially contaminate others. Two percent chance to contaminate each healthy survivor. Overnight. Interesting. We might lose everyone. It might happen. Let's search. Or, whoa. Dead on a couch? What is happening here? You see a dead body relaxing on a couch, enjoying the view from the beach. Upon closer inspection, you notice that the Roman number... Uh, six, seven, number rubber eight has been carved on the couch. Strange. Another thing that tickles you is that the guy must have died in this exact position. Did he die of old age on his couch or out of boredom? Suicide? He died while actively fanning himself? Sit down and relax? <laughs> uh, we're going to search first. Trash Lobster! Uh, Contessa, how's it going? 
Died of starvation while fanning. Uh, you search the couch and find some magazines. Killing time has never been so appropriate. I got some Sudoku puzzles. Alright. Uh, who's really tired? You might die of fatigue. Hey, Julia. Take a load off. Relax. Also, get mauled by a trash lobster yet again. This sure is a nice spot. You decide to sit down and relax next to him. The dude may be dead now, but maybe he was right, and this is your best way to wait for deliverance. You ponder the thought for a few hours. It added to your depression, though. So, if people can handle the depression, this is a good way to... Alright, so she could do it. Oh, right, but... Aw, oh, man, they need to pass a cell check as well. So, if they can handle the injury and the depression, this is a way to reduce their fatigue without making them rest. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Maybe you? Can't really handle more. Alright, well, I always go back here. I know that it's a thing. Alice, you think Alice should go do it? They might all die tonight anyway. Um, because I'm still wait. Like I'm so I'm so far off. I don't have any way to get food. I can't cook anything yet. I can't hunt. We're in dire straits. We're, it's a bad. It's a bad time. Yeah, crafting's taking a little, little bit of time. We can't go back in the plane to find food there. That's how we usually used to do it. Alright. Depression and fatigue down for those guys. Alright. Jacob is good at not becoming depressed. I mean, look at him. He's a fun guy. He made some antlers for himself. Alright, they're not having fun exploring. Uh, what'd we find? Or sure. Oh, hello. I wonder if this is the blue lady that was having a picnic. Strange blue woman. A strange blue woman is standing in front of you, cuddling the skeleton of a baby dolphin. <laughs> she welcomes you with a smile, but doesn't say a word. There's an otherworldly atmosphere around her. You feel uneasy, but not in danger. Uh, let's talk to her before we search her. Who? Who's gonna talk? Ilyana? Discussion 57? I think Ilyana's gonna be the one. I mean, Alice would be okay too. Better discussion. But the stealth- oh. Well, oh, she's not injured at all. Okay, Alice is gonna go. Are you love, you ask? And as if a spell has been broken, she slowly turns to you. Of course, she says with a smile that pierces your heart. Equally charming and terrifying. But courteous people usually don't come empty-handed when they are invited to my house. Come back with something I will love and will speak, she says with a smirk. There are two lovers in the jungle near here who are arguing. Bring me the object of their discord, please. Hmm. Hmm. Near here. Lovers who are arguing. Not there. Not here. Not here. Swan and an owl. owl. Maybe, maybe they are the lovers that are bring him, bring that bone. Maybe. Who's the best stealth? Forty-seven. All right, Ilyana, go for it. The scene strikes you as out of context. You've never seen two birds fight like that over a bone. You've never seen their species in this jungle either, and they are fighting with such vehemence. Vehemence. The ground is covered with blood-stained feathers. You feel the same eerie aura that you felt around the strange blue humanoids you saw earlier. You 
think about it for a while. Well, she's also the highest knowledge, so we're gonna do that one. I want that bow, because it's probably how I start hunting, but we're gonna do this. Oh, sneaking... Sneaking was only for the bow, though, not the bone. You stare at the scene for a while and start thinking about recent events. You were asked to find a gift for love, and there is this story of a prophecy. Maybe the fact that this scene seems out of place is a link between the blue people and something in the scene. You wonder for a while. The only link you can see between something here and love could be the Cupid arrows. Maybe worth it to bring the bow to the woman. It's far-fetched. Okay. She wants the bow. Yes! You managed to get real close to the two birds and hide in some bushes. Uh, definitely take the bow. Yeah, I'm not gonna hunt, right? As much as I want food. With the clever use of rotten food as bait, you managed to lure the two frenzied birds away. You pick up the bow, a bit disappointed to see that it's more of a toy than a weapon. You also take the bone they were fighting over as a trophy. Okay, let's go to the blue woman. Hello! Oh! I know that you have something for me. Will you give me what I want? G give her a kiss. <laughs> give her the bow and arrows. Give her the leg bone. Is it really the bow and arrow? The leg bone, like she's holding bones and the leg bone is what they were actually fighting over. But we're guessing that this is the one because it's the like, I think it's the bone. You don't know why, but you hand her the leg bone you found with the owl and the swan. You feel a bit ashamed of such a curious present. But to your surprise, she bursts with joy. Ah! Exactly what I wanted! A sign of love. The eternal fight between passion and reason. I'm very pleased, Alice. Ask your questions, and I'll answer the best I can. Uh, who are you? Do you know where we are? I've been called by many names in the past, but you can call me love. I like it. It brings hope. As for the question of where, it's kind of odd of you to ask that, isn't it? We are where we are. We are here, now. That's all that matters. It's like names. Where changes because of time and people. I don't bother with that. I just know that I was always somewhere here, so it must be home. Uh, let's ask about the prophecy. A way out, huh? Yeah, well, I don't know. My, I, I was supposed to find more about the prophecy. Prophecy, hmm? The word has a familiar yet distant vibe. Oh, I know. You should ask Johnny. He was a good friend of mine. Very wise in words. His house is northwest in the jungle. Uh, there's nothing northwest in here, from here. Fire crystal. Can we search? Searching a bad idea. Wow, that blue one's very, very large. The woman is only covered by her long, curly hair, so you assume she isn't hiding anything. You'd like to search the big shell, but you don't dare. You feel it would be inappropriate to put your hand in her shell. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Fire crystal, huh? Mysterious minus 20 to all states. Lovely. If you find a clear water source, it might be useful. Alright, well, if I'm going to continue to survive anymore, we got to start using some of this stuff. Yo, Fisher! What is happening? Welcome. We're trying to survive on an island. It's going poorly. Northwest, like there's nothing northwest. This is northwest. I assume they just like bad, um, bad translation from French or whatever. All right, Alejandro, we gotta. You're gonna use an item. Minus ten. Yeah, you're gonna use it. Reduce some hunger. 
Oh, you're watching Sheriff Eli? Is he still playing Far Cry 5? He was having a blast with it last night. Alright, who needs... Who's injured? What's our injury situation? Julia could use some painkillers. Alright, Julia, you get some of these. It's pretty good. Um, who's the most hungry? Most hungry. Uh, we got Alejandro. Okay. Alice. Okay, I don't care about Alice. Alice can die. Winters, Alejandro, and Yuri. Oh, well, maybe Eliana. Winters, Alejandro, Yuri. Use that. Alejandro, I got one. Yuri, you can have a potion. Who else? No, nah, we're gonna save the other one. He was flying a chopper low altitude following a river blasting Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> it sounds like a blast. Uh, I'll admit, I'm interested in it. Oops. Uh, the problem is, though, I just... I don't... I don't have food. So, we're just gonna try and get as far as we can before everyone dies. Oh, I probably shouldn't have left them there. I probably should have moved them and had them do other stuff. That was a waste. They got along, though. Even though they're starving to death, they got along. New beach area. Get real close to death here. Seems like we found love after all. Did you notice how she was petting a baby dolphin's skeleton? It's creepy, and blue skin. It could be explained from a medical standpoint. Maybe something in her food habits with some skin cream. It's not impossible. She doesn't seem to have crashed on this island like us recently. She was very calm about the whole situation. Looks completely crazy to me. She wants a gift. We're lost! And alone on this damned island! <laughs> we don't have time to air, it's for useless lunatics! Oh, Jacob, you're so silly. It's still a part of the puzzle. She clearly answered to the word love, which was spoken by the old guy. There's a link to the prophecy here. I don't know about this prophecy thing, but she's been living here for a long time. She may have crucial information for us. We'll play her game for now and see where it leads us. Uh, reduce some depression. Contaminated. Oh, God. I can't believe no one died yet. It's gonna happen. Look at all this food I don't have. Almost dead from starvation. Dangerously weak. Doesn't bode well. Let's level you up. To what? I don't think it matters. You're all gonna die. Knowledge and intelligence. That's what you get. Pile of seaweeds. A large pile of unremarkable seaweeds. Nothing odd here. Search it? Eat some? Mm. I think I'll search it. Definitely not eating it. Though eating it probably would have helped me. Gah! Trash lobster again! It's disgusting, but you put your hands in the seaweed, searching for something useful. A cursed ruby necklace. There's a lot of cursed jewelry on this, uh, on this island. Alright, what are you gonna do for probably your last day on this earth? Everyone's gonna die. Let's harvest. 
Harvest away, my friends. Let's hope we can find some, uh, some fruits. Cooking pot done, maybe? No. Long way off. Long, long way off. But Bob leveled up, which is lovely. Still researching? This fruit, this fruit is all I have to survive with. Problem is they might die before I have a chance to feed them the fruit. Oh, here we go. Julia died of exhaustion. This is sad, really. It's best to be moving on quickly though, as we still have plenty of things to worry about if we don't want to end up the same way. Bye, Julia. Uh, what do I have to do for food and water? Um, fruit is used to make water or eating. Um, I don't have hunting yet. Um, I'm sure, I don't know, I'm sure. Hunting comes up sometimes, like, on the places that I can explore, but I haven't found a way to, like, hunt all the time. So harvesting is really the best bet, but this food is almost use- like, this fruit is almost useless for- for food. I got through the first, like, 14 days by searching the, the plane, and there was tons of food in there, but you can only search it uh, a certain number of times, and now it's- it's empty. So, I'm crafting a cooking pot, and I'm hoping that would get me food, but I- I don't think I'm gonna finish it in time. I think I started- I started, um, getting it too late. Um... So, I'm gonna continue this, this, uh, this run, but I don't, uh, drying clothes, but I don't, I don't consider, I don't think I'm gonna, to finish this entire game. Apart from a few suspicious looking stains, nothing seems wrong with these clothes. Is there something, someone else in this island? And more importantly, are they naked? So Contessa, I imagine you have played this game before? Are you aware of it? You heard of it? Scavenge fabric. Take the clothes for yourself. Let's take it. Julia's gone. Can't do it. Who's good at scavenging? Probably should do whoever's good at stealth. Continue with that. You just heard about it? Yeah, I, I didn't know anything about it, and it popped up for free via Origin. And just like, hey, what the hell? I was between games. Uh, you're fed up with your old dirty clothes. These new ones will do perfectly. It boosts your morale a bit, but you get frowned behind. <laughs> get frowned at back at camp. Yeah, this isn't the sort of game that I'm gonna put a ton of time into, but it was a neat little diversion, uh, because I finished up this, uh, I finished up a big, like, mist-like puzzle game that I was playing last week, and I know what my next main game is, but I hadn't bought it yet, and I was just like, hey, let's finish this. Let's finish this before we continue on to something new. Uh, let's just search as much as we can. I just want to keep searching. Undistributed skill points! Bob! Let's level you up, buddy. Let's craft, just to try and see if we can get that finished. Research. Close. Not gonna make it. Fruits and fruits. Explore. One more place. One more place. But the night's over. She's gone. Can't say I liked her, but, well, she was here with us since the beginning. That's sad, I guess. It is by those who have suffered that the world has been advanced. Hmm. Oh god. Everyone's dead except for Yuri. Oh god, Alejandro's dead. Ilyana is dead. Jacob is dead. Winters is dead. Bob is dead. Alice is dead. Yuri is all alone and sad. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, we'll give him all of our fruit. 
<laughs> Poor Yuri. He's very hungry. He's constantly crying and he's exhausted. <laughs> he's just crying on the beach all alone because everyone died. That's horrible. Oh my goodness, Yuri. You poor man. You poor man. What do we have you do? What is this? Giant marble statue remnants. Big marble hands coming from the ground. That's okay. You already saw that. But what you don't understand is how can water flow continuously from the amphora without emptying it at some point? You guess that there's a secret device hidden into the statue. <laughs> Mr. A6. You should be happy for having less mouths to feed, in my opinion. You're not wrong. Now he can eat all the fruit all to himself. It's very true. Oh, well, I do have an empty bottle. Let's fill it. Yuri, you're, you're the man for the job. Two, man, that two-headed rabbit has been hunting me for weeks. So I have the one empty bottle. I can fill that up. Got some healing water, which is awesome. Can you also drink some? Drink it. You'll probably get injured going to drink it, but maybe it'll heal you. And a snake. Goodness. You drink a good deal of water, you feel a strange sensation in your whole body. Look at that. Injury and fatigue go away. Hunger go away. Yuri's gonna survive this entire thing by himself. And that's good, so we know we can come back here when we need to. All right, do have any wood? All right, wood's gotta be used to up the fire. How is our water tank? Okay. So, does he try and finish the cooking pot on his own? <laughs> Fuzzy blue, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> um, all right. We should probably up his stealth, because he's going to be the only one searching from now on. Uh, what kind of items might I want to use on him? He's going to get depressed, though. He's not, because he has no one to talk to. So I don't have a good way to, to ease his depression. That's not good. Alright. Well, he can have some coffee. Definitely use some coffee. Uh, I don't want to use this yet. I'll use this as a last ditch. Uh, plus to cooking? Yeah, sure. I, I don't believe I'm going to find any other people. At least not before he dies. I don't want to use that on him. This ruby necklace reduces fatigue. It will injure you, though. Yeah, put it on. Be fabulous. All right, so does he continue trying to build the cooking pot? Or do we have him continue searching? I mean, searching is what has to happen. Otherwise, we'll get nowhere. What are these places? All right, we have the fig tree. We can get wood from the fig tree. We have the blue woman who we can talk to, but we don't really have any reason to. Is there something here? It acted, oh, Liana's. There's monkeys playing with each other. What are what are lianas? Play with little monkeys? Search? Oh, well, that'll probably ease depression. Let's search. He's gonna get injured pretty consistently now. Whoa! A four-eyed ram. I find a banana. All right. It's not terrible. What are lianas? I don't- I don't know that word. Plants of some sort, I imagine? Vines? Alright, what else? Okay, we got dead on a couch. Okay, so that's how we can ease dep- Oh no, that actually makes him depressed. It'll ease fatigue. We got the crazy old geezer. Is this actually what they meant? Alright. No, that's not who we meant. 
Hunt the monkeys? Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Liana is the rope-like things in the jungles. Okay, so just these are. Alright, the only reason I'm worried about hunting the monkeys is because it will make them go away. And that might be my only way to reduce depression, currently. So... I'm gonna- I'm gonna save them for the moment. I'm gonna see if food be if food becomes a major issue, I'll come back and I'll hunt them. Um, I mean, food is an issue, but at the moment, since I drank that water, uh, his hunger is pretty low at the moment. So I'll remember that that's there, and I'll come back to it. Um, I'm gonna have him... I'm gonna have him continue building. Twice. Oh, God, he didn't finish it? Lame. Just sitting alone. <laughs> In the name of God, stop a moment. Cease your work. Look around you. <laughs> Nature is painting for us day after day. Pictures. <laughs> infinite beauty if only we have the eyes to see them. Is he drunk? What is... Why is he burping and hiccuping? The sole meaning of life is to serve <laughs> humanity. <laughs> oh, so I guess he was drinking. He had a personal sock. Alright, so he's drunk. He's hungry, he's depressed. His hunger is apparently gonna go up very quickly. He can have a banana. Very hungry, really depressed. Probably the fruity ate on the rum. Yeah. Yep. Finish that cooking pot. 99%. Fantastic. We need... Mm, farming setup? No, I have this harvest thing that I can get, like, one or two fruit out of. I might go hunt those monkeys. Alright, well, if I find meat and fish... So now if I hunt the monkeys, I can actually cook them appropriately. It's probably not the best priority, but... You know, just what we're gonna do. No food. Continue being hungry. Fire intensity is going down. Alright, do we have any wood? We have no wood. <laughs> we might lose the fire as well. We can search for wood immediately. John yeah, okay, so this is where we found out about Johnny, and she says northwest in the jungle. Northwest is the the ocean. So I'm assuming they meant northeast. So up here. Um none of these places are Johnny. This is not Johnny, so I'm assuming it's just like up here somewhere. The game is from a French developer, so I imagine it's just like, you know, mistaken translation. Uh, I'm gonna drink some of this. That ram is still there. I mean, this water will keep me going for at least a couple more turns. So, alright, let's... Where the squares are blue on the map. Yeah, I can. I don't know what the blue squares mean, though. Like, I don't know the difference between yellow and and all that. A northwest coast to the island? I mean, yeah, I guess up here is northwest. Like, like this would be northwest, I guess, up here. If you're starting from the center of the island. 
but yeah, the blue ones, I don't know, it must just be like waterfront and yellow is beach and green are trees. I think that's the deal. Um, I can't, I don't know if I can afford to lose the fire right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, I need to get some wood right now. I, well, I don't have any. I don't have any. So, we just gotta hope for our best. Alright. There we go. Fix that. Let's have him explore. See if he can find a new location. Nope, not yet. We're getting close. We're getting down to the wire here. Ah, uh, it's not looking good. Maybe hunt those monkeys. Starving, really depressed. Yada, yada, yada. Fire is gonna be going down again. Ah! All right, let's go kill those monkeys. Get injured doing it. Rabbit attack as usual. There are a bunch of cute little monkeys playing with the Ilianas. Easy targets. You try to catch some for dinner tonight, but the monkeys lead you far away from the Ilianas tree, and you can't remember where it was. Okay, it's gone. But I got some meat. Let's cook it up. Wait. There it is. Go over here. Oh, God. I don't... I don't have any. <laughs> but I got food. Caught the monkeys. Got them. We were cooking them up. I gotta go. Oh my god, this is. I might not even make it. This might be. Need more wood. Yeah, I know. I know about the fire. Two woods gonna last me like one more day. Oh, it might not even. Oh god, he's so close. But we have tasty meals, so he's not gonna be hungry. He might die some other way. He's dangerously weak, and the fire is gone. We're not. Oh god. How do I create a new fire? Forgot. Oh my god, I need wood and stone and tinder. Doesn't look good. Barely hanging on here. Oh man, I, oh shit, I probably should have gone back. Oh god, he's in the cold. Oh god, a night without fire. Depressed, fatigued, no food. On the verge of suicide. <laughs> That's so brutal. Alright, let's go back to... Not there. Let's drink, drink the water again. Barely hanging on. Alright. Oh, he died! Oh, no. There it is. Now we are indeed dead in Bermuda. It's too bad. None of your characters managed to survive in this hostile environment. Some died from starvation, some were too exhausted to even budge, and some just threw themselves off of a cliff. But I did survive for 22 days. Which is more than I expected to survive for. This is a silly little game. Well worth the low, low price of free. Do I have a clue of what I did wrong? Um, I, I don't know. Poor management? I I think I didn't... Okay. I don't think I created the cooking pot fast enough um, because a lot of my early meals ended up not being like... I ended up cooking... I ended up wasting a lot of my campfire on poorly cooking food that I found. So that would have kept me going longer earlier. Um... 
I also waste a little bit of time fighting depression with people where I think I could have explored faster as well. So. Uh, yeah. Denim Bermuda. It's neat. You know, I might play it again at some point, but I think I'm going to move on to my next major Let's Play. Um, hey, Contessa, thanks so much for that follow. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Um, so, uh, that's Dead in Bermuda. Um, I'm gonna start my next game today. I'm gonna have some lunch, I'm gonna run some errands, and I'm probably gonna start my next game, um, a little bit later this evening. Um, I've also been playing some Vermintide as well. Um, but this has been fun. Um, yeah, thank you so much to everyone who hung around. Mr. A6, Fantasa 70, uh, Fuzzy Blue Caterpillar was in here, Fisher 5 was in here, Imaginary Monsters, so many friends. So many friends coming and hanging out with me and playing a game. It's just, it's great to see. It's great to see people enjoying our time together. Uh, so I guess that's it. This has been my Let's Play of Dead in Bermuda. We're going to put this up on YouTube. Uh, and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great rest of your Monday. See you soon.